Meet Mark Crick. He's the middle guy in the red. He played professional rugby in Australia until 2003 when his career ended. And in 2004, he moved to the USA. When he got here, he only knew a few people, only had a backpack full of stuff and a few thousand dollars. But he did have an idea and a lot of hope and determination. In 2004, he started a gym, Balance Gym. Now he owns three state-of-the-art gyms and will possibly own three more very shortly. Matt Wassum and I are here tonight with our new friend Mark Crick. We're here at the Balance Gym on 14th Street, just below Thomas Circle. Mark, thank you. Thanks for sharing your inspirational story with us. And we started with, you know, a couple of thousand dollars, myself and Graham King, my business partner, and we just worked. And I just think that when I attached my name to something, that I think people then kind of judge me on now how my business was doing and you know, it became very a personal thing. I don't have an ego. <clears throat> I'm not afraid to clean the floors. I'm not afraid to clean the toilet. I, when we started, you know, like, I did it all with Graham, you know, like, we did it all. Like, you know, we would stand out in the corner and hand out flyers. People would throw them back in our face. It'd be like, you know, you know, like, I'm not, I don't have an ego. I'm not ashamed. You know, like, I understand that, you know, I can, you know, things take, and also a timeline. You know, I think a lot of people, maybe it's, you know, the generation of people coming through school now, they, they expect it all at once. You know, they want it all now. It's like, it's, it's kind of me. Give it to me. And, you know, for, for, for something to like, you know, like people say, oh, you're so successful, you know, like, you know, you go to these gyms for six years, you know, like, you know, six years nearly to the day that we started Balance Gym. And for the first five, you know, it was hard. I mean, it was a slog. I mean, it's still hard, but it's hard in a different way. Meaning that, you know, we did everything. You know, we did all the marketing, we did all the accounting. We did all the training, we did taught all the classes, you know, we, we cleaned, you know, we did everything. So, I mean, success may happen very quickly, but it's like us kind of slogging it out that takes years and years. And some people, I don't know, may, maybe people can't see the end. And, you know, we had a very simple philosophy. You know, I wanted to make the person that was training me, I wanted to make that the best hour of their day. So when I walk around now and I see people smiling and I see people happy and I see people interacting and I see people trying new fitness programs and, you know, making uh, goals that they really probably couldn't have gotten without my help because of the new programs we've introduced, that makes me really, really happy. Be persistent, you know, find something you, you like or find something even better you love.